Adopting a pen name. Unveil your writing persona. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing aspect of writing and authorship. Adopting a pen name. This concept might sound straightforward, but there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. So, if you've ever wondered why some authors choose to write under a different name and how it might impact their work and identity, you're in the right place. Let's uncover the mystery behind pen names together. A pen name, also known as a pseudonym, is a name adopted by an author to publish their work under, instead of using their real, legal name. This practice has been around for centuries and is used for various reasons. By choosing a pen name, writers can create a separate identity, protect their privacy, or even craft a persona that resonates more closely with their audience or the genre they write in. Privacy and Anonymity One of the most common reasons authors opt for a pen name is to maintain privacy and anonymity. This is particularly true for those who write about sensitive topics or wish to keep their personal lives separate from their professional writing careers. Marketability Another key factor is marketability. Sometimes, an author's real name might not be catchy or memorable enough for the literary market. A pen name can offer a more marketable alternative that sticks with readers and stands out on bookshelves. Genre and audience Authors often switch genres or write for a different audience. To avoid confusing their readers, they might adopt a new pen name to differentiate their work across various genres or target audiences. Gender and bias. Historically, women authors have adopted male pen names to ensure their works were published and taken seriously. While this practice has decreased, some authors still use pen names to avoid gender bias or to fit better into a genre typically dominated by a particular gender. Many renowned authors throughout history have successfully adopted pen names. For instance, Mark Twain, born Samuel Clemens, became one of the most famous pen names in American literature. George Eliot, the pen name of Mary Ann Evans, chose a male pseudonym to ensure her works were judged by their merit, not her gender. These examples illustrate the strategic and sometimes necessary reasons behind adopting a pen name. Adopting a pen name can be a powerful tool for authors, allowing them to navigate the literary world with more freedom, privacy, and creative expression. Whether it's for anonymity, marketability, crossing genre boundaries, or challenging societal norms, the use of a pen name is a fascinating aspect of literary culture. We hope this video has shed some light on why and how authors choose their pen names. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of language and literature. Thank you for watching.